Hi, I'm Eric Proctor, an educator for the Arizona Game and Fish Department. We are known for using science to help us conserve and protect more than 800 species of wildlife found in the state. But today I'm here for a different purpose. I want to explore the intersection of science with art and language through the poems of Douglas Florian. And to help me out, I've invited some of my friends, some colleagues that I work with here at the Arizona Game and Fish Department, to read some of their favorite poems. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Angie McIntyre, and I'm a bat biologist, which means I get to crawl through caves and catch bats with special nets called mist nets, and I get to um, listen for their echolocation calls with special detectors. So it's a job that's a lot of fun. And I love bats. And also, I love a poem by Douglas Florian, which I'm gonna read for you today. And it's called, The Bat. The bat is batty as can be. It sleeps all day in cave or tree. And when the sun sets in the sky, it rises from its rest to fly. All night, this mobile mammal mugs a myriad of flying bugs. And after its night out on the town, the batty bat sleeps upside down. Hi, I'm Maddie Marsh with Arizona Game and Fish Department, and I'm an amphibians and reptiles biologist. That means I get to work down in the mountains in southeastern Arizona, hiking, camping, and working to conserve and protect native amphibians. Today I'm going to read a poem called The Toad in Beast Feast by Douglas Florian. The tubby toad so squat and plump that rarely does it even jump. At night it feeds on worms and slugs, small spiders and assorted bugs, then hops into an earthy burrow to dream of catching more tomorrow. Hi there, my name is Edwin Juarez. I'm a bird biologist with the Arizona Game and Fish Department. And that means I go out and count birds, study birds, and spend a lot of time watching birds. So today I want to read a poem to you that's called The Hummingbird, and it's by Douglas Florian. The hummingbird, barely bigger than your thumb, see it hover, hear it hum. With beating wings so fast, they're blurred, this helicopter of a bird. The Hummingbird by Douglas Florian. Hi, my name is Christina Jones. I'm the Turtles Project Coordinator with the Arizona Game and Fish Department. And what that means is that I have a job where I get to work with turtles every day. And today I'm going to be reading a poem by Douglas Florian from Lizards, Frogs, and Polywogs called The Box Turtle. This bony dome's my mobile home, a shell so swell in which to roam. And when I'm scared, my bear or fox, inside I hide, safe in my box. I close it shut and go to bed, secure from beasts that box my head. Hi, I'm Austin Madsen and I work for Arizona Game and Fish Department in the Community Fishing Program. That means I get to stock fish like catfish, bluegill, bass, and trout in over 40 waters all across the state. Today I'll be reading from In the Swim by Douglas Florian. I'll be reading the poem, The Rainbow Trout. So suave, so chic, so magnifique to sport a rainbow on your cheek and down your flank. So swell, so swank, divine, delish. Too bad you're a fish. Hi, my name is Sherry Boucher. I work on pollinator species and the conservation of monarch butterflies and other pollinator uh, insects and animals out in the field. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the monarch butterfly. It's a really interesting butterfly that has a, a really cool defense mechanism. It actually eats a toxic plant called milkweed when it's a caterpillar and that makes it poisonous to other predators. So today I'm going to be reading from Douglas Florian's Encyclopedia and the poem is called The Monarch Butterfly. He is a monarch, he is a king. He flies great migrations, past nations he wings. He is a monarch, he is a prince. When blackbirds attack him, from poison they wince. He is a monarch, he is a duke. Swallows that swallow him frequently puke. So there you have it, a small sampling of poems by Douglas Florian. We chose to focus on those animals that are found here in Arizona, but he has so many more. I encourage you to check them out on your own. Or if you're so inspired, choose your favorite animal 
and write your own poem modeled after his work. Before we go, I want to share one more of Florian's poems with you. This one about an iconic desert animal found here in Arizona. This is the diamondback rattlesnake from the book Lizards, Frogs, and Pollywogs. Fork in front, rattle behind. The lump in the middle, don't pay any mind. Scales up high, scales down low. The lump in the middle, you don't want to know. Diamonds above, diamonds below. The lump in the middle, a rabbit too slow. That was the Diamondback Rattlesnake by Douglas Florian. If you enjoyed these poems and you want to learn more about the animals that were featured, I encourage you to check out the Arizona Game and Fish Department's website at azgfd.gov or check out the phenomenal videos we have on our YouTube channel. Thank you. <laughs>